What is up, my seafood friends, and welcome to r slash a-hole design. I'm your host, Dr. Fishsticks, and a-hole design is like crappy design, except it's designed like that on purpose and for the express purpose of making money. So, let's get into it. If you still don't understand, here's a flowchart. Also, a little disclaimer, I'm going to be experimenting with some stuff to put in the background, so you'll see that in the next couple videos. Legally, cash out on PayPal. I am very much sure this is not legal. Oh, frick. Alright, let's get to this. Today, we are announcing some important updates to how people log into Oculus devices, while still keeping their VR profile. Starting in October 2020, everyone using an Oculus device for the first time will need to log in with a Facebook account. If you're an existing user, um, me, and already have an Oculus account, you'll have the option to log in with Facebook and merge your Oculus and Facebook accounts. If you're an existing user and choose not to merge your accounts, you can still continue using your Oculus account for two years. After January 1st, 2023, we will end support for Oculus accounts. If you choose not to merge your account at that time, you can continue using that device, but full functionality will require a Facebook account. I mean... <sighs> It's not really Oculus' fault, it's Facebook's, but I'm, I'm still gonna have to, like, make a Facebook account to merge. Google. Elder Scrolls 6 release date. All the latest news on the new Elder Scrolls page. While there is still no Elder Scrolls 6 release date from Ashley Home Store. Stimulus check inside. Um, but it's not. Can they even do this? <laughs> like, is that legal? I mean, even if not, that's still yucky. Bruh! Bramom! How much can- How? Why, though? Like, you can't be making that much money from putting one less cookie in it. Plinko Master. Freaking Plinko Master. That stupid app that makes stupid ads puts them on YouTube. Let's see the reviews. One star. I downloaded this as an experiment rather than actually thinking I could get money from it. I got eight. I got to 88 uh, pounds within around three weeks of casual play. You need to get to 100 pounds to be able to cash out. Turns out, once you get this amount, the game is rigged and doesn't spawn any more cash tiles. In the same period, I've earned over 1.2 million gold coins. You need 5 million for an Amazon gift card. I'm going to keep playing to see what happens when I get close to that number. Then small claims court. Mall claims court isn't gonna help you, bro. Oh, frick, is another one. Just like others have said, you need to reach $100 in the cash rewards before you can cash out. After getting to 88, there was no more money targets to go after. There were our ads galore, but you can we are only playing for the fruit or gold coin rewards. It takes over 4.5 million gold coins to redeem Amazon gift card, but unclear what amount it's even worth. You need 25 different fruits to get $1,000. Guess what happens when you get 21 fruits? You never even see the others. Con game! Beware! Guys, you're not even, like, uncovering some conspiracy here. Everybody knows it's fake. Track the progress of your completion certificate. Your certificate will be ready for download by blah 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 blah. Need your certificate faster? Mailed. Overnight shipping. Digital. Instant digital delivery. Mailed. USPS first class mail. Why, though? So to unsubscribe from something, you have to block everything. All of this. Why? Winnable deals aren't available without an internet connection. Please connect to the internet to get more winnable deals. Imagine getting screwed over by Solitaire. Oh, I hate you. This per- someone left these as a tip. It's a- Christianity ad who do I'm uh picture to people server could not complete your request picture to people site c doesn't work with any active ad blocker blocking ads from this site configures piracy what uh, let's keep going um, according to our terms of service, it is absolutely forbidden to block the ads from our site. Using a software without respecting its terms of use and without accepting its counterpart conditions is piracy. Please disable your ad blocker to configure it to not block any URL from picturetopeople.org. Why? 
<laughs> now I just want to go there and with my ad blocker and just like I don't idle. This app downloaded the ads so that it could show you ads even when you turned off your internet and data. Bruh! Ah, oh, frick, no audibles on this. Alright. Delete card. Either add a new card or select an existing one to be your default payment method. So you can't remove your credit card. Is that legal? That shouldn't be legal. Searching for the free open source software and the first link I get is from the commercial subscription based competitor The this is the subscription product. I don't need this is the free product I searched for by the way if you need an audio recording or editing software use audacity I use it. It's free and it's amazing. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's epic. Oh Daily achievements. These are always fun win three matches in a season All right. play two matches in career Watch of uh, spend a hundred. Why? <laughs> spend a hundred diamonds gets you fifteen diamonds, so you're losing out on like eighty-five diamonds. Why? See that light? That's a sticker. The only one that works is the circular one. Why? And it's realistic too. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, why'd they put a light on top of another light? No, that's a sticker! Now playing. It's always sunny and fill it. Fortnite Mega Drop! Save now. Is this just a thing for like Samsung to have ads built into their phones? Why? Five stars, four renter reviews. Third, wait, there's three one stars and uh, one two stars. Wait, what? Oh my god! I thought they were just like lying for a second, but no, the reviews add up to five stars. Oh my god, that is awful. That makes me genuinely mad. Two hours, and it has 60 ads. That's an ad every two minutes for 120 minutes. Why? You're scamming children! Your Uber Auto is at your doorstep at 12.35 in the morning, even though you haven't used the app in six months. First time sharing, advanced sharing, and sharing master. All the achievements are just sharing a certain amount of times on Facebook. That's... Hope you feel proud of yourself. Bro, you have to call them to unsubscribe. What? Why? The fact that the fact that like finding websites that will allow you to easily unsubscribe as a commodity is really sad. The performer E55 wireless earbuds I actually have some of these right now. They're they're okay. They sound nice for a bit, but then they just like deteriorate. I, I just have these until I get some good ones. Um, 25k five star ratings. Except they only have 20,000 star. What? Are they just lying? Oh, they have 25,000 ratings in total, and they add up to five. All right, that's, uh, 20,000 five-star ratings is still good. Just go with that. Level five, press the X. But guess what's going to happen when you press the X? It's going to take you to the app store, Jimbo. So apparently on Reddit, when you auto, when ads autoplay, um, they play with audio, even though with actual videos, you have to press unmute, which is dumb and bad. Okay, I've seen like five of these posts, so I might as well cover one. Uh, these Trump ads are everywhere. Oh my god, why? Fine. No hot sauce needed. Unsubscribe because it never will burn. We'll miss you. I don't want to feel sad for unsubscribing from something. Fatality rate. National Kidney Foundation. Live kidney donation, 0.03%. And COVID-19, 0.01%. Um, pretty sure the fatality rate for COVID isn't 0.01%, but alright. Also, that is way off a of scale. Like, if it's zoomed in that much where you find decimals of percentages, 0.02% would be a big difference. Mega Marker, 150 pieces. A except it's not 150. 
Um, it's 75. Well, no, it's 75 markers, but it's 150 pieces because it counts the lid as a separate thing. That's bad and wrong. They have an ad that covers a part of the website that you're looking at. But that's just going to make me not want to click it. Hey, see that little thing at the bottom of the screen? Yeah, that's how you can use it without creating an account. So this is the Apple News app, and apparently you can't um, unfollow certain channels. This, this, I don't even have anything funny to say about this, this is just bad. And finally, a TV that you have to put coins into to make it not turn off. That is awful. But sadly, ladies and gents, that is all the time we have for today. If you like this video, press the like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment them down below. And if you really like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe. And that is all for today. So until the next video, goodbye. I know it's my ADHD, cause I can't stop moving, moving, I feel happy.